Hi, I'm Alfonso, and you're now listening to the Atlantic Marine Podcast, and today I have Kelsey with Seakeeper. Thank you for being here, Kelsey. Thanks so much for having me. Kelsey, tell us a little bit about Seakeeper. How did it start, and what do you guys do? Sure. So Seakeeper, uh, we are motion control experts, so all sorts of motion, motion control on boats. We have two different products. Um, our first product, we launched to the market in 2008. Uh, so right at the height of the recession, which gave us some challenges. Oh, of wow. Course. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I wish I could say I had any part in that, but I wasn't quite there yet. Um, <laughs> so we have 10 different gyro, gyroscopic stabilizer products for nice. boats um, anywhere from 23 feet to more than 200 feet. Um, and those different, 10 different models are for all for different sizes. So our smallest one is the Seakeeper One. That's the newest model that we've launched. Um, and that is um, a, essentially like a two by two cube in terms of size. Whereas our biggest one, the Seakeeper 35, um, I can't wrap my arms around it. It's so oh, big. Wow. Oh, wow. So uh, as soon as you arrived, let me tell you something. My nausea went away. Uh, well, thank you. I had that effect on people. Yeah, right away <laughs> I stabilized myself. I'm like, oh, we stopped moving. <laughs> Great product. Thank I, you. I, I've seen it at the boat shows. As, as we are right now, we're at the Miami International Boat Show, and we go out there to the slips, and I see people rocking the boat side to side, big people, small people, all sizes. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where once they activate it, it stops moving. And getting people's reaction is the yeah. best. You get a lot of curse words. <laughs> you get a lot of people who don't believe it, like we're doing something under the dock to stop the boat. Um, so it's been really fun seeing people's reaction um, as they're able to do. We call it a dock rock. Okay. Um, and and it, it really is as magic as it seems. So it eliminates up to 95% of all boat roll um, from a boat that has one installed. And the process, is there a special place where it goes that has to be in the center of the boat, the back, or is it... Can it it just... actually can be installed anywhere, and it will oh, work yeah. the same way. So when you get on a smaller boat, you obviously have to worry about the, the weight and making sure there's a counterweight, but it doesn't have to be on the center line. We prefer that it's midship aft, um, and that is, okay. it, it will work if you put it closer to the bow. Some people put it under like a V-berth. Um, some people replace their head and put it right in uh, a center console. Um, that works. Yeah. So mm -hmm. people will make space for it. We've had people um, cut their fuel tanks to reduce the size of their fuel tank to fit a Sea Keeper on board. Um, so it will work wherever you put it. Um, we prefer midship aft because if you put it too far forward, you're just putting more strain on the bearings, but it will work the same way. And is this product a product that usually just goes on brand new boats or is this something that can be used on my Sea Ray 42 2010? It can absolutely be put on your Sea Ray. So okay. if you need my business card afterwards, just let me know. I probably do. My um, wife hates the rocking. So this yeah. is very interesting. Um, but we work with over 300 builders oh, okay. um, around the world. We're, we're globally based. Um, we have offices in Italy as well. So we have relationships with builders all over. Um, about 75-ish percent of our business, depending on location, is through boat builders. Okay. Um, and that other 25% is all aftermarket refits. So we have a global dealer network. Um, more than 250, I think we're at ish now. Dealers. Oh wow. oh wow! Everywhere from the far stretches of Australia. I was talking to somebody who's based in Bermuda, South Africa, uh, Norway. We've Worldwide. got dealers all over the place. Worldwide. Mm -hmm. Question: Process on this logistically. Are you guys behind? If I want to order this for my 23 foot reef runner over here how you, long is i it? believe you could get one now oh yeah you guys carry yeah, them. we keep um we keep inventory on the shelf as well so if you went to your dealer take, they might they might have a backlog for installations but you could definitely get a unit now okay and you guys say you have another product yep in august uh of last year so just a few months ago we launched seakeeper ride okay seakeeper ride is our first non-gyro product so it is a vessel attitude control system. And what that means is um, attitude control systems actually already exist in aerospace um, technology that, that if you think of a plane, um, to control the pitch of the plane, okay. the roll, the yaw, and then in, in a plane, they also have uh, the motion that you can't do in a boat because you'd go underwater. Um, so we came up with the, yeah, we came up with the vessel attitude control system, so VACS, 
um, creating a new category in the industry that will um, eliminate the need for manual adjustments with your trim tabs. Um, so it's completely automatic transom mounted system that can eliminate up to 70% of pitch and roll while underway. Wow. Oh, wow. So the sea keeper normal will be when you're stopped and then the right is when you're when you're actually moving it to help it keep it stable. So the gyro is actually going to add to your roll elimination performance while underway by about 20%. So the gyro really shines while you're at rest. Like you said, that's why people are doing those dock rocks. That's when you feel kind of the big rollers. Um, if you're fishing and yeah. you're, you're oh, yeah. you know, or you're anchored and you're hanging out, um, that's where the gyro really shines. But it does improve the performance of Seakeeper Ride only in the roll axis while underway. Gotcha. So we're encouraging everyone to have both, obviously. I am blown <laughs> away. I am sold. Thank you. I'm going to see you about my uh, 42 series <laughs> after this. Excellent. Because uh, every time I go to Bimini, I start rocking because we have to slow down if someone has to use the bathroom or if they're cooking downstairs or something else is going on. They're drinking their wine. Yeah. And I don't want it to fall on the carpet. Uh, that will help yeah. from rocking. And now you don't have to eliminate red wine from your menu. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I took a person. I mean, when you guys were doing the. Uh, the doc text, you know, I would go out there because I just, I was like, I'm a big guy, so I, I can make it move. It's really That's impressive. True. Yeah. That's true. It's really impressive when you see it on. I mean, it's it's amazing. I, I know people that will not go out because they get seasick automatically. Yeah. And now yeah. with this, it yeah. gives them the option to go out there. It's fun on, on the dock rocks for the gyro. You get the people who are like, well, I'm, I work out all the time. I can move this boat. And they can't. It's Frank. Fast. Yeah. yeah. That's Frank. Frank. I was like, Frank, you, you, you give it all you got, Frank. He's like, oh, watch. It's not going to hold. Yeah. It's not going to hold. Did Thanks for move? bringing up my failure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We really love just shadowing people's ego. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Seriously. I mean, you did it to me about two years in a row. Yeah. yeah. When the show well, used to be at Cuba We've got a boat as yeah. well. So if yeah, you want to yeah. do it again. Oh. It's every year. <laughs> you know what? I, I got another guy named Alec. We call him Baby Huey. He might, he might be able to, you and him might be able to move it. Yeah, we got a chance. No, no. I'll tell you, though, I'll tell you, it's, it's really impressive, like, when you, you see the videos and, and on YouTube and you hear about it, but when you actually see it, where you grab the T-top, especially from the dock, right? And mm -hmm. with one hand, you basically lean it all the way over. And all of a sudden, when you turn it on, and to feel the, res like, actually feel the resistance, you know, when you're trying to push it. It's really impressive at how it stabilizes. Well, I yeah. think that's a, a, it's some type of a, a bar traveling. I don't know how many thousands RPMs. How, how, what was it? Yeah, the gyroscope. The gyroscope. Yeah, that was cool. When I saw the video, it's like, uh, what, 1900 or? So the RPMs differ based on the model. But yeah, inside of the sphere, there's a steel flywheel that spins anywhere from 4,200 RPMs to, I think, the, the smallest unit. The fastest one is like 9,100 wow. RPMs that it's spinning and it spins inside a vacuum, so there's no air resistance, oh, wow. um, which allows us to create the most efficient and effective model in the smallest package. So, you know, boaters don't have a whole bunch of, of room that they can give up, whether it's storage or, or fish boxes or um, refrigerators, like boats have so many options now that we are trying to make the gyro a possibility for everybody. Um, and that's kind of what the company was founded on, was the um, desire to stabilize all boats. Um, so that is uh, what we're working towards. Yeah, I saw Center Consoles putting it on the uh, leaning post. Mm -hmm. So instead of having just that dead space, you just put it there and you can still fish from anywhere. Yep, on, on so the they boat. can be um, installed below the deck or they can be deck mounted. And the newest model, the Seakeeper 1, which is the smallest model, it's a flush mount design, and it's our first model that's flush mount. So typically the sphere hangs below the plane of installation, okay. um, whereas the the bottom of the Seakeeper 1 is flat, so you don't even have to cut into the hull in order to have that sphere hang down or prop it up so that that sphere can hang down so it really doesn't take up space and fits under most leaning posts. Yeah, and it's, it's a quick install. I saw it was like a 16 hours to have it from yeah. start to finish. So and we actually, really cool. this, uh, just within the past couple of months, we developed a waterproof enclosure for the Seakeeper 1 specifically. So a okay. lot of the small boats, if you have a 23-foot boat with a leaning post, it's not always an enclosed leaning post. And yep. so the Seakeeper 1, if you leave it out, it's a piece of equipment. You are exposing it to salt water and to the sun. So we've created a waterproof um, cover that you can 
put on after installation cool. that means it can be exposed and visible, yeah, which nice. is exciting for me and marketing that it would like be, it. you know, front and center. Hey, it has a sea keeper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, Kelsey, thank you very much for being here. Absolutely. Your product is amazing. It's a great product. You said you have over 250 dealers? For Sea Keeper Gyro. So Sea Keeper and Sea Keeper Ride, we're kind of operating as two separate They've got two separate teams. They've got two separate go-to-market strategies. So okay. everything is kind of operating separately. On the gyro side, we've got um, aftermarket dealers all over. There's a dealer map at seakeeper.com that you can find the dealer closest to you. Um, for Seakeeper Ride, we launched with um, a handful of builders. So Chris Craft, Sportsman, and Scout um, offer, offer Seakeeper Ride on applicable models. And then since the, since the launch, Jupiter and Dynamic are now also offering um, ride on a few boats. We're working with um, a handful of builders who will go standard for model year 2024. Awesome. And then very soon, if I told you the date, I'd have to kill you. No, so. no, no, don't get in trouble. <laughs> don't do not do it. Um, but very, very soon, okay. um, we will launch for aftermarket refits for Seakeeper Ride as well. Wow, so that's awesome. that's exciting. And that's for boats, I don't think we talked about that, 19 to 35 feet. So you're, if you're in the market looking for a brand new boat, something over 23 feet, please ask for the Seakeeper. Request it. No more feeling sick on the boat. Everybody's no. super happy, and you can fish dead stop, or you go to a sandbar, and that boat will not move. No. Super stable. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks Guys, for having me. Guys, please make sure to visit seakeeper.com for more information. We're out of here.